Welcome to another episode of Lifelong Learner. This is the Out of Class Edition with Ben, Janesh, and Matt. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Lifelong Learner. Welcome, Matt. How are you? Good morning, mate. Morning. Just, just the two of us. Just the two of us. Today, Ben is at his uh, parole officer. He's... Uh, <laughs> He's, uh, for the <laughs> listeners that don't know, there's, uh, there's been a couple of run-ins, so he's uh, had to go back to his parole officer. Usually, um, I'm talking about Matt and his parole officer in Indonesia, but, um, you know. Now Ben's, it's Ben. It's Ben. For, sh- for shoplifting again. I know, I know. For stealing protein powder. powder. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the the man needs his gains and uh, at, at any cost, so... Mm-hmm. It's uh, we don't judge uh, a lot, only a little. But um, uh, Matt, you were talking a bit uh, off air, and we're going to jump straight into it. You're talking about Tony Robbins' three S's. So let's, uh, mate, run run our listeners through that, and um, keen to keen to unpack that and dissect that. Yeah, um, I I love Tony Robbins. I think you and I both do. We've <laughs> definitely grown up listening to him. And you, sometimes when you've listened to someone for a long time, you think, you know, oh, I know most of their stuff. And I was just watching something this morning and just the way it's packaged, sometimes your brain forgets how, how things come into reality and you just take what you need at the time. And I was watching this video and he was talking about his three S's to success. And it's just a really great formula. And he talks about... Um, Strategy. Most people, when they want to achieve something, they go straight to the strategy. How do I do this? And that's part of it, but it's not the whole story. There's actually two S's that come first. And there's one that always gets in the way of you finding the strategy, which is the story. And the story we tell ourselves for why it's not possible. Um, And the best way to influence that story is to focus on your state, your emotional, mental state. And I just love that because it brings you back to what can I do right now? Well, I can breathe or I can move my body. I can go for a run. I can anything that's going to drastically aff- affect how I feel. Mm-hmm. It's going to affect mm-hmm. my focus, it's going to affect my physiology, it's going to affect my language. And for me personally, it's always a physical thing. It's If I go mm-hmm. and do something with my body, drastic, gym, swim, run, then I feel better mm-hmm. and then – when I sit down to do the thing, my story is better. It's yep. it's not, oh, I can't. It's there's a way. Like what have I got to what have I got to learn, you know? Mm-hmm. Or there's a better story. And from the story, you start to build yourself. Like if they can do it, I can do it. Like mm-hmm. what's their strategy? Search for a better strategy mm-hmm. rather than just adopting the oh, it's not possible because I don't have enough money or I don't have a, you know, whatever the story is that you tell yourself. Yeah. And so I think, yeah, let's talk about let's talk about this because we can unpack it in whichever way you want. Mm. For you personally, when you when we talk about the strategy, story, state, which one do you want to dive into first? That's a great question. For me personally, I'm just probably going to say the like the hardest one. Let's go the hardest one. Uh, is probably. Probably story, I would say. Like, mm. for me, strategy is depends on what you're doing, I guess. But there's, it's like a little bit more clean cut uh, at times, um, and you know, okay, follow the like logic tells you, hey, follow a certain strategy, and then if it doesn't work, then okay, that you got to go find another one, right? And sometimes that finding another one is is hard, for sure. Um, but it's also, I think you and I talk about it, that, that there's always someone else has done something mm. similar to what you're doing. I mean, you may be a pioneer in your field. However, someone has done something similar, right? Like somewhere, like learn mm. from that, learn from that process. Um, and then, yeah, and then state, I feel like I've got a handle of, but I don't actually use always the best. But story, story is probably the most I would say, which I don't actually understand why, the most fluid. Mm. Why do you think, say, story changes easily? Mm. Um, yeah, 
and can be the killer of dreams? Yeah, I think it's um, inno- in- innocuous. Innocuous? So I try that word. It can. It kind of sneaks in, doesn't it? It's like it's not like you said. If you if you have a shit strategy, it becomes very obvious very quickly mm-hmm. that this strategy is not working. People from the outside can see it and they can call you out for it, or they can say, "Dude, that's never going to work." You know, mm-hmm. like if you want to lose weight, you got you got to cut back what you're eating and you got to move your body a little bit more. What you're currently doing is not working. It's, bit, it's easy to call out that strategy, mm-hmm. but if the the story is I can never lose weight because ancestrally this and I've got this, you know, this thing. I'm just using that example because it's it's an obvious one, right? Mm. Um, hopefully that doesn't offend anyone. But, you know, the story of why I don't um, exercise or the story of why I don't um, train or practice, mm. like, and we see it. I used to see it a lot at the summit. You still mm. see it, I and mean, you're there. Whenever someone has a challenge in front of them, the story starts before they get there. Like mm. I used to love the high activities because I would literally watch people start to generate their story, mm. and it was often a story of how can I get out of this really uncomfortable thing that I'm about to do. So there's only so many stories people can tell. Yeah, and the most common one is, "Oh, I've done this before." I don't need to do this again. Mm, mm. It's like, well, as a coach, the moment you hear someone say, I've done this before, I don't need to do it again. We already know they absolutely need to do it again Mm. and they probably haven't done it at all, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Or if they did do it and it went badly, that's every reason why they need to do it again. Mm. Um, So, yeah, I think the story is really interesting and I think it's because it's, it's something that you create. You can lie to yourself. You can lie to everyone and no one cares as much as you, right? Mm. Like you can, I can sell you on my story and if it's convincing, you'll fucking leave me alone. Mm. You'll be like, oh, dude, yeah, you're not meant to, you're not meant to do that. It's not for you. You've explained to me why, because that happened, that happened, that happened. That sounds convincing. You got me. I'm busy focusing on my own life right now. I got my own story. (laughs) But the stories are so influential, right? Like in terms of you can switch- like one story can can be the trajectory in two different ways, right? Like you can switch your story and it is, uh, I guess it comes down to that one person's probably their, their belief system and kind of the evidence has been that in their experiences that has created those beliefs to kind of form that story. But it's super interesting where you got two seemingly similar people on the outside but they they tell a different story right when they Mm -hmm. when they do this like do the same task or do the same challenge there's um there's two different there's two different stories um yeah yeah, which is interesting and i think it's the most influential and people got a question why do you think people either not willing to change their story or or now now I now I say that out loud I'm in my head I'm like or are they so probably not the greatest word but are they so blind that they need to change their story that they're like you know what this is not this is this is serving me in some way um I am comfortable take the training example look I'm going to bitch and moan about kind of overweight just so I can seemingly block it so no one else gives me shit for it. Um, but it is, it's serving me, right? Um, but it's not really, not necessarily healthy, not serving your health. But to them, it's like, oh, I've got all these other health conditions and it's, it's different. It's different for me, Matt. It's different. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Why do you think they don't? change their story or they're so blind of maybe there's a need to change their story Mm. yeah i think i think you kind of hit the nail on the head when you said the story (laughs) like the story is either it's creating a circumstance that propels us towards what we want or it creates the environment to make us feel comfortable where we are 
Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. You, you can't have growth and comfort coexisting at the same time. Like growth is uncomfortable. If you're going to get outside your comfort zone, that requires a story and the story needs to frame it in a way that in the future, this is going to be worth it. Mm-hmm. I, like whatever you're going to go through in the next 10 minutes, 10 years will be worth it. That's a great story, right? That's going to motivate you mm. to get uncomfortable. But the story that we tell ourselves when we don't want to grow, when fear kind of rules us, is I'll do it tomorrow or um, this isn't for me. It's for him or her because they're charmed, they're lucky, they've got good genetics. This isn't for me, mm. you know. Or it's I'm easy, not meant to it's, have it's this easy thing. for them. It's easy for them. Easy for them. Any kind of story. And I think that's a really good thing for anyone listening is, is your story, does your story make you a little uncomfortable? Does it motivate you? Does it, uh, is it a calling to be something more or is it a, you, you, you're, you know, it's kind of that friend that actually isn't that good for you that Mm. doesn't encourage you. They kind of just go, yeah, yeah, you're okay. You're fine the way you are, you know, but Nick, Beneath that is true. Like we're all enough. You don't need to go and do a bunch of things to feel great about yourself. But the reality is that if you don't feel good about yourself, going and doing things that are going to add to the quality of your life is going to make you feel better, right? Progress. Mm. When we progress in anything, body, business, relationships, uh, I don't know, adventure, any kind of Mm. progress Mm -hmm. feels good. Mm -hmm. But it requires a story of it's go do something, right? Like we live in this such a comfortable world. You can quite easily convince yourself to stay there, but you're going to be bored. You're going to be unmotivated and you're going to eventually get depressed. Yeah, but I think there's probably a a version of that that provides uh, certainty. And That's true. And provides, like I was just before, I was thinking about certainty, like it feels safe, right? Mm. Feels safe, and I was actually talking to someone last week. Yeah, last week, going that you gotta like you gotta take some risk. I think we were talking about last episode, right? Like, gotta take some risk, right? You gotta risk it for the biscuit, and it's like obviously, yeah, calculated risk, but like, there's you gotta think outside the box if you want if you want progress, and it is gonna be uncomfortable, and it's like it's like one of the keys, right? Getting comfortable, being uncomfortable. But mm. you have to uh, – people don't want to, right? People tell the story, go, mm, nah, or that will never work. That will never work. Um, and then – but they don't take that take that a big enough plunge. That, that's the story. That'll never work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so then they take very little action, and that very little action creates very little results, which reinforces mm. the idea it was never going to work. Yeah. Yep. Like it's this – it's this self-fulfilling prophecy. That's the, the amazing thing about the story. Mm. Whatever story you tell, you will produce results that reinforce that story. Mm. So That's a, why so a question it's so for innocuous. You. So for our listeners, how do we... I don't actually know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, I'm going to ask it to you so then I've got time to formulate and hence so- I see... That's funny because I have an answer in my head that I'm trying to formulate into a question because I want to share it. So maybe this is just going to be magic and it's going to... (laughs) Perfect. How do you you think we can get our listeners to to test their story, to challenge their story and go, is it the right story? Because everyone's got a story um, and in the moment of time, that story is correct to, to that person, right? To you. Now, is it the story that they really want to be telling themselves, believing and all of that and portraying? Like that's an individual question, right? And how do you, how would we tell our listeners, hey, this is how you test it. This is how you challenge it to know, hey, look, this this is a good story. This story Mm. is serving you or "Mm, you might need to change that up a little bit. Um... And again, change that up a little Good bit. What that could mean a little bit could be drastic. But how do you how do you test it? Because sometimes it's a fucking great story, and people go change it, and they change it the other way around. Mm. Um, that's a really 
It's a really good question, right? And I think this is a game changer for people. Mm. Regardless of like, we don't have the answers, right? <laughs> we just bring you information. We bring you things to think about. This is something to think about because you are telling stories every second of every day for why you do and don't mm. do things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think number one, stop fucking lying to yourself. Mm. Like that's the most important. That's where everything changes, right? Like because... If, if you stop lying to yourself, you stop lying to other people. But lying is when you get lost and confused in the story, right? Like if you tell the truth, the truth will set you free. I'm not a deeply religious person, but there are so many wildly incredible stories within these books, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's a really great quote, the truth will set you free. And I remember wondering when I was younger, what does that even mean? Mm -hmm. it, like on a simplistic level, tell the truth. And you don't have to generate a story, right? Mm -hmm. Like it is what it was. That that makes sense. It will set you free. But the more I think about story and that quote, the more I realize this is some deep wisdom. Like be honest with yourself and you will generate meaningful, empowering stories because human beings were built to build, mm -hmm. to conquer, to... Mm -hmm create right that's what we are we're creators so if you only speak the truth to yourself then you'll be honest and when it's a disempowering story you'll create a better one mm. uh, what if you're so far down the rabbit hole that that is your version of the truth well that's the problem that's why people got to stop lying to themselves because but you look around you like like so when <laughs> it's it's a scary uh, uh, world we it, live it, it in, Nesh. And I think, uh, I think you, me, Ben included, we probably intentionally distance ourselves from these type of people. Um, no judgment, but just not my, not my, not our type of people, right? But the the people that uh, <laughs> I laugh at, I know probably there's going to be someone turning their nose up when they listen to it, but that's okay. Uh, that but then they're. You go, oh, look, I'm really, you know, when you ask them how's work, right? They go, oh, it's just, fucking, it's just crazy, Great. it's whatever. No, or not even with that. Like, it's just, oh, but are you enjoying it? Nah, nah. Um, okay, and then the conversation, oh, you, but, but, but I'm happy. I'm like, fuck off. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. Um, but work's work. Work, can't, work like, they've, they've compartmentalized that work can't be happy. I can't just enjoy my work. It's a paycheck, and then, but I'm happy in this other thing. I'm like, mm, how you do anything is how you do everything. It's fucking making you a miserable bastard. But it's like they are truly thinking that they are happy, and I'm like, fuck, tell your face that because your face doesn't say you're happy. Um, but they truly believe it, and those people um, are so far down the rabbit hole where I've got myself into trouble to, I don't know, quote-unquote, uh, probably try to coach him without an invite to coach him <laughs> in a conversation. Free. Yeah. Just Shake a, him out of their cage. Come on, bird, like fly. A, like a backyard conversation at someone's <laughs> barbecue or birthday party. And I was like, oh, fuck. <coughs> and it's just like, it's like a corkscrew. They're going in and in. I'm like, I'm going, fuck, you're a lost cause. And now I'm just, now I hear, I, we come across these people. I smile and nod. Mm. And then um, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I do judge. <laughs> you know, I'm going, oh fuck, poor fucking you, um, and you just don't fucking see it. Uh, and then I go, okay, like and I let it be. But but they believe that truth of I'm so far in, I cannot do anything, right? So that's a common one, and that can be so far into health problems i can't get my health back on track into training walking fucking just eating cleaner or i'm so far in i can't start this business right i can't i can't even do this it'll never work i don't have the money um or the um i'm just gonna die alone and you're like mm. yeah with that mentality of course you are <laughs> right like um and he goes oh but i'm, I'm I've, made, I've made my peace like fuck off but so just super interesting. Um, these what do you, these what are do you all do? stories, right? Yeah. Do you just cut them loose and go, nah, you're all too far gone? 
What is some? How do you test it if someone really believes it? So if you're saying our listeners, right, go, hey, test your belief, right? Uh, I'll test your story and challenge it. But if you truly, truly believe it, how do you know? Be ra- how do you know? Gonna be re- it's going to be a reality, right? Yeah, like but how do you, you tell? Yeah, so how do you know it's not a great story if you go, this is really good? Yeah. Good again. Good questions. Good questions. Uh, feelings don't lie, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Thoughts lie. Mm-hmm. Anything in the mind that we create, we can fucking lie to ourselves. We can use words to describe mm-hmm. how we are. Feelings don't lie, right? But feelings aren't <laughs> visible to the outside world. That's why mm-hmm. on social mm-hmm. media, everyone looks so fucking happy, <laughs> right? Everyone's living the dream. Everyone's got the money. Everyone's got the watches, and everyone's. But we also, we know on a deep level that society is a mess mm. and one of the leading causes is these platforms that allow people to project lies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because if people lie to themselves and everyone else, well, if you're going to lie to yourself, 100% you lie to other people, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Like you, you can't give away that which you don't possess. So if yep. you're lying to yourself, you're also lying to everyone else. Yep. Um, if you're lying to everyone, you're trapped in your own lies. Mm. You probably feel like shit, but you're telling everyone you feel great. But what if you feel good though? Well, if you feel good. So I'm, I'm, see- I'm thinking like a, say, again, we're going on spectrums here, right? Mm. High functioning. Uh, ah, here we go. We'll go there. High functioning uh, alcoholic. Right, and high functioning drug user. They feel mm. like a million dollars. Yeah. Their feelings aren't aren't they're not feeling shit. They're they're chasing that high and they probably haven't hit rock bottom yet, but they're like when their high goes down, it's like, all right, I'm just gonna put something else in me. Uh, and the feeling is fucking good. And they're yeah. seemingly happy and successful, but it's the um there's this uh, un, uh, like unresourceful uh, coping mechanism, right? So there's, I think we, I'm not sure if we did, we talked about unresourceful and unsustainable, right? So things need to be sustainable and resourceful. Otherwise, if they're unsustainable and unresourceful, um, they're, they're going to cause you a world of harm. They'll work, 100% they'll work. Like look at drugs and alcohol, it works. But it's unresourceful and unsustainable because at some point there'll be a crash, it might be years. It might be 10, 20 years. But, um, but yeah, it's interesting and because those people are so far in that they've lied about their feelings. They go, I'm actually quite happy. I am mm. obese and I am happy. And I am uh, – yeah, that, those people that say, I've made peace with this. And I guess, look – we can't we can't solve the world's problems in one podcast, but we'll try. There's a bell curve. There's a there's a bell curve, right? I want to I want to speak to the people in the mean, the mm. average mean, not the extremities, right? Mm. But I do think that I can address that idea of the drug dealer, uh, the drug dealer, the drug <laughs> user. They're probably dealing too, right, to supplement that because it's expensive. So better just buy lots, sell a bit. There you keep go. Can, can you keep some for me? Yeah, there's the strategy. That's the strategy. Right? The belief is that the you know what? story. The story is that I this is a business and I'm helping other people. Right? right? And the state and I feel great. And the state Look is at me co- go. the state is constantly high. Constantly. I am high, high, high functioning. I am high. highly motivated. Highly engaged. <clears throat> I'm highly awesome. I'm managing my state with this uh, this substance all the time. Janesh and Matt talk about state. I got my state dialed in. Watch me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it, I think you gave a word and that word is going to uh, help me generate an answer that I think will be helpful for people. Um, sustainability. Mm. Anything that comes from outside of you is not controlled by you. So it's not sustainable, right? If those drugs stop being made, what happens to this person? Fucked. Mm. Right, it's gone. The illusion is gone. The external thing that helps them feel good to then tell their lies to themselves and everyone else, mm-hmm. it hinges on this little pill or this whatever, mm. you know. 
Um, is it sustainable? The only thing that's truly sustainable is character, mm -hmm. is, um, is authenticity, right? Are these things that can't be taken from you, that aren't external to you. And authenticity, character, honesty, these are internal things. And if you have them, they influence your story and the story you tell will become your reality. So the feelings are important, right? And But most of us avoid them because it's fucking scary yeah. and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the feelings lead you to the truth. And the reality is you can spend all day online and all day telling everyone how happy you are, but when you go to bed at night, and all the stimulus is gone and the lights are out and you're trying to sleep, your feelings are coming up. Mm. Whether you've and maybe not because you've medicated them, maybe because you've smoked, drunk, done whatever you can, watched fucking Netflix until you pass out. But you're avoiding part of yourself, the feelings. Mm. So if you want to get to the truth, if you want to stop lying, then you've got to stop taking things that stop you from feeling. Mm. Feel. And if it doesn't feel good, ask yourself some questions. Why? What do I need to do to feel better? And the answers, they'll come from within. And they're not going to be comfortable. They're going to be fucking horrible. It's going to be, you're a piece of shit. You've got to stop <laughs> lying. you got to start working out. you got to start saving some money. Stop mm. buying drugs. You know, the answers are going to come mm. because they're all there. All right. That's a, that's a good, I was actually going to ask you after that, go, hey, what's your takeaways? And that, I think that, mate, that just summed it up uh, quite, quite nicely with, 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 with a bow. Uh, any other takeaways that you would like to add and give to our listeners? Uh, maybe just to finish with those, the three, the three S's, like, like I said, Tony Robbins, what a man. You know, the, the three S's to overcome fear and fundamentally succeed, the strategy, the story, and your state. And we talked today's podcast about the story. Mm. One of the best ways to influence that story is to get into a great state and the story will change. You'll end up with a more empowering one without having to put any effort into it, mm. right? So if you love pottery, if you love, find something you really enjoy, truthfully enjoy, mm. and and do it completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, you know, push yourself for that, that thing that you want. Mm -hmm. And the story will naturally just be a better story because mm -hmm. you're in a better mm -hmm. place. You're in a better state. Um, but we're all playing this game. Like, yeah. And, and the strategy part is actually the easiest part, as you yeah. said at the very beginning yeah. of the podcast. And there's so many coaches that are just like strategy, strategy, strategy. <laughs> I don't even bother with that shit anymore because it's 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 actually easy. Like you said, mm. you can get a strategy from someone successful. YouTube mm. has made the strategy part very easy. Yeah, easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would your takeaway be? I would recommend um, to in the next week. I would recommend to. Uh, Look, take stock of your stories uh, and and zoom out a little bit. Zoom out a little bit and go, are they truly the story you want to tell? Right? Mm. Like, and try to be impartial to your story intentionally. I think you can, even if you're so far down the rabbit hole and believe it. If you want to be impartial, go, is it truly good, good for me? And there'll be multiple, like... Everyone's got hundreds of stories, right? So I reckon pick one or pick three in like maybe three different ar arenas of your world um, and evaluate them. And it may be, yep, yeah, yeah, great. It's uh, it's good. Uh, it, however, is it? Yeah, it it may not be. But I would challenge it and go. Yeah, I would challenge. I would I would try to zoom out and challenge it and go. Um, really go is this where you want is this story getting you where you want to go and and I think it goes back to like where do you want to go where where do, how do you want to live right and if you go fuck it you really you really want to do that um or no um and, 
Yeah, I want to add one thing to what you said. It's like, think about the stories that you watch, right? To avoid your own. Mm -hmm. Like, they're good stories. You want something it, to create your own hero story, right? Like, create a fucking awesome story. Mm -hmm. The more unbelievable, the more hardcore, the more you're motivated and compelled to make it happen, right? Like, mm -hmm. like oh, there's an opportunity there. C create an amazing story. Mm. Don't just tell the same bullshit story mm -hmm. that someone else is telling. Like, create a great story. Yep. And now you're motivated. Now you're mm. like, mm. and there's going to be 100 people who say it's not possible, and that's going to be fuel for your story. You're going to be like mm. fucking compelled to prove them wrong, right? <laughs> I'm like tapping into my own story now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, All right, so that was good. So that was good. Thanks, man. That was no, really that was fun. Good. I got a lot out of it, so hopefully our listeners did too. So, mate, thanks for uh, thanks for jumping on, mate. Absolute welcome. All righty, welcome. listeners. Till till next time. Have a good one. See you guys. Thanks for listening to another episode of Lifelong Learner. If you like this episode and want to know more and hear other episodes, head over to lifelonglearnerpodcast.com where you can subscribe to our newsletter where you'll be the first to know when new podcasts episodes coming out and if you want to say hello tell us a joke or ask us a question send us an email at hello at lifelonglearnerpodcast.com thanks again